How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm showing you guys the three best VPNs for Synology NAS. Now, Synology provides secure internet attached storage, or NAS, as a safe way to store sensitive information for businesses and individuals. What Synology can do, though, is protect your data while transferring files on an unsecured network. And cyber criminals use packet sniffers to intercept data while it is being transferred. There is good news, though. A good VPN will protect your sensitive data from hackers while transferring files through advanced encryption, namely 256-bit encryption. That way, even if a hacker intercepts your message, it will be impossible to decipher since the keys to your session are protected by the VPN's encryption and are only available with the VPN provider, which will obviously never be shared with any hacker. Quality VPN services will automatically hide your IP address, protecting you or your business from targeted cyber attacks. The top VPN services will also improve your speed for accessing and downloading files and photos if you're being throttled by your internet service provider. Now, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of your VPN. So you've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Express VPN will be the best overall, in my opinion, especially for anonymity and privacy. You've got over 3,000 servers in 94 countries. And all these VPNs, by the way, do have that 256-bit AES encryption. So you're getting solid encryption no matter which VPN you go for. But at the end of the day, it all depends on what you're looking for. You know, you've got the necessary security features with Express VPN, such as the kill switch and split tunneling. The kill switch will stop your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN encryption. And split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So you can select specific applications to be routed through the VPN tunnel while the rest of your connection or network is routed outside the VPN tunnel or vice versa. Um, you have a bunch of protocols of course you know you can just go with a uh, lightweight udp that'll work 99 percent of the time just fine you have some shortcuts browser extensions and in advance you can only uh, i would recommend leaving these on for better security and performance and if you want to opt in or out of sharing crash reports you can do that but these will not contain personally identifiable information anyways so you're good to go and you'll be able to secure up to five simultaneous connections with ExpressVPN unless you install ExpressVPN on a router where you'll be able to uh, secure an unlimited number of devices essentially because any device that's connected to that router will also be secured by ExpressVPN. Now, if you're looking for a slightly cheaper option but gives you a whole bunch of bonus features, NordVPN will be an amazing well-rounded value choice. You've got over 5,600 servers in 59 countries. You've got five types of specialty servers. You've got double VPN servers, which will encrypt your device through two servers, so twice instead of just once, uh, making it much more difficult to intercept. Not that only one connection is uh, decipherable or can be uh, plowed through by hackers, but it's just that double VPN makes it that much more difficult. And you've got bonus features such as threat protection, mesh net, and dark web monitor. Uh, if you go to the settings right here, of course, you've got custom DNS for an easy way to change your DNS. Nord links, which is going to make NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN in the business. The kill switch, as well as an app kill switch, split tunneling. And uh, yeah, overall, you've got a whole bunch of bonus features that you get with NordVPN, which is a great option if you're looking for more of a well-rounded uh, VPN that gives you bonus features instead of just the basic VPN with necessary security features such as ExpressVPN. And you'll be able to secure up to six devices with a single subscription. So that's one more device than ExpressVPN. Now, if you're looking to secure an unlimited number of devices without having to install a VPN on your router, then Surfshark will virtually allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. You've got over 3,200 servers in a hundred countries, a couple of specialty servers, including Multihop, which is the same as double VPN routing connection through two servers instead of just one. And if we go to the settings here, you still have an ad blocker, the kill switch, the powerful WireGuard protocol, bypasser, which is the split tunneling feature, and a speed tester, just like ExpressVPN, and a couple of features that'll help you if you're in a censorship heavy country. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in learning more about these VPNs, though, with regards to the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below. And if you'd like to get straight to pricing and discounts, you'll also find them in the description below. 
Either way, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.